This is Neyland Stadium, home of the Vols. It's empty now, but the quiet stillness you feel is that special kind of electric silence, of sport. And in the background, you can almost hear the thousands of Tennesseans counting the days until that magic moment when it's football time in Tennessee. Yes, football is king in Tennessee. And this year, record-setting ticket sales from all parts of the state say it's the biggest football year ever in Big Orange Country. Look at the schedule. UCLA, Auburn, Georgia Tech, Alabama, LSU, Tampa, Tulane, Ole Miss, Kentucky, Vanderbilt. For the first time in many years, Tennessee has five road games, which is another plus for this year's Doug Dickey Show TV sponsors since road game audiences are peak audiences. There's another plus this year. On the Vols open date, October 7, the Vol freshman team featuring outstanding high school stars from all parts of Tennessee plays the Vanderbilt freshman. So this year, sponsors get a bonus because the Doug Dickey Show covers 11 weeks instead of the normal 10. And it's all in color. So let's have a sample look at college football's fastest moving TV show. The Doug Dickey Show. Exclusive films of the Tennessee Vols, narrated by UT football coach Doug Dickey, with John Moore, presented every week by the insurers of Tennessee, who present this network program to remind you the big difference in car, home, and business insurance is the continuing personal attention of an independent insurance agent. Remember, in Tennessee, your insurer serves you first. Coach Doug Dickey, we're going to talk about the prospects for the coming football season in just a moment, but right now I think we might look back to one of the real high points of 1966, and that was Tennessee's game with Army in Memphis. John, uh, certainly that was one of the big ball games for us in 66. It was a ball game that uh, Army came to Memphis. Uh, a team had won four ball games and had lost one only to Notre Dame at the time. They were very high on their football team, and as you remember, they went on to, uh, to have a fine season, Coach Cahill winning the Coach of the Year award. It was a ball game that I think our football team uh, played about as well, both offensively and defensively, as we did all year. Certainly our passing attack uh, got the job done for us, as it did in most of the ball games through the year. And Charlie Fulton had a great day running with the football before the home folks in Memphis, and it was truly a, a highlight game for us of the year. Well, you know, another highlight was the fact that, uh, at least to me, that uh, there was a capacity crowd there. Yes, John, there was. Certainly we have had uh, great uh, press relations uh, in Memphis. They have done a great job of helping us build crowds for the ball games, and certainly we're drawing people from Nashville, Jackson, from Memphis, from all of Middle and West Tennessee when we play there. And I think this is certainly an inspiration to our football team to go to Memphis and to know they're going to have a fine crowd to see us play. Well, let's see some of the highlights of that Tennessee Army football game. Second period of the football game, Tennessee and Army. Pitch goes out into the flat. Nice reception by Johnny Mills. Mills has the ball, juggles it at the 35, carries to the 30, and is knocked out of bounds at the 28. First and 10 for Tennessee. Some of the throng at the beautiful Memorial Coliseum, Memorial Stadium in Memphis. With the ball is Joey Wan, the quarterback. Wide out to the right is Flowers. Pitch back comes to Charlie Fulton. Turns inside. Great block. Carries the ball to the 25. 20, 15, 10, 5. Into the end zone for a touchdown. A great run by Charlie Fulton. And Coach Dickey, we want to see that again so you can follow through on the big play. Well, I think one of the first blocks that was so important on this run was by Austin Denny, a tight end who hooked their defensive end and got no penetration across the line of scrimmage. Dewey Warren and Richard Pickens made fine downfield blocks for us, and Charlie just turned it on and outran the defensive secondary. So that makes it nine to nothing, and now Tennessee will be going for the extra point, and here's Gary Wright. Gary has been very consistent for us all year, and has done a tremendous job, really, of kicking the extra points. So the score is Tennessee 10, and the Army nothing at Memphis. 
Coach Dickey, those were certainly exciting highlights of that Tennessee Army football game. And uh, only for tells, I know many exciting moments this year in football. And I think right now we might sort of pause and get your assessment of how Tennessee's football program has developed since you came to Tennessee. Well, John, I think uh, first uh, we've been very fortunate in having some great football players at the University of Tennessee. We've had three All-American football players, and only the great individual player certainly deserves the All-American recognition. I think many fans have followed our football team because of some of these great individual players. I think that uh, the heart of any football program certainly is the recruiting, and we have set our program to start with the state of Tennessee, since it is the campus of the University of Tennessee extends across this state, but certainly we must be number one in the state of Tennessee if we're to have a successful football program at the university. And we have been able to sign a high percentage of the high school athletes across the state who we think are capable of performing on the athletic field for us and boys who are certainly qualified as students at the University of Tennessee. We tried to establish this type of recruiting program through the public relations of the total university as well as the athletic department in many phases. We certainly have tried to see to it that we have the best program available for these Tennessee boys at the university. In the facilities that we have available at the university and the quality of education that is here and certainly in the competition on the athletic field for a boy from the state of Tennessee. And we think through this program we have been able to, in the past four years, get the finest athletes here. Certainly not all of our athletes are from the state of Tennessee. A certain percentage of them will be out-of-state boys. But the heart of our program is with the boys of the state of Tennessee. And we hope that we can grow each year with this group of boys. You know, Coach, when you talk about Tennessee boys and uh, players who come to the university from various uh, cities and towns in Tennessee, really they always say that the town goes with the boy and maybe that's the secret john that certainly is true you get a great following uh, from the smaller towns certainly as well as the large towns uh, of the boy the hometown boy and people coming to see you'd be surprised how many people come from the smaller towns. well coach we know that you are very happy about the fact that the insurers of tennessee will be a part of your weekly tv visits into thousands of tennessee homes every week John, I certainly am. This is a wonderful group of people to be associated with. I think that we can certainly have a fine show, and I'm looking forward to doing everything I can to help them in the coming fall program. Uh, certainly, though, with all the technical aspects of this, I'm going to leave to you and the people who work with the insurers to certainly make this show successful because I've got some time to spend in other places on the field and so forth to see to it we have a fine show every Sunday. Well, uh, that's right. Your job primarily out on that coaching uh, practice field, I know, especially with the first five games that Tennessee has this year. John, that's about as tough a schedule as anybody's uh, had to open with at Tennessee, I think, when we go to Los Angeles and play UCLA and then come back here for Auburn and then have Georgia Tech, Alabama, and LSU back-to-back. Uh, -back, uh, that's a tough schedule. I know it's one some people are going to be looking at on Sunday. So your overtime is going to be before the season. Well, that's right. <laughs> and after, too. That's certainly right, John. Well, uh, we certainly are looking forward to uh, the program, too, and uh, we know that uh, Coach Dickey will give total support to it, and we'll have uh, more to talk about in just a moment. A E I O U. Basics of Learning. Yet when it comes to buying insurance for your car, home, or business, in Tennessee, you can get even more basic. All you need remember is I and you. They work together. Because I is the emblem of your insurer, an independent agent who serves you first. Contrast this with a one-company salesman, the other kind of agent. Once he's sold you the policy, his job ends. There's a big difference. When you buy from your insurer, he's free to select the right policy for you from many strong, reliable companies. You are his boss. Remember the basics. I and you go together. Be sure, in Tennessee, buy your car, home, and business insurance from your insurer, the man who serves you first. This is the Doug Dickey Show of 1967. The story of Tennessee football told each week on the state's TV stations, a network of stations 
to be watched by millions of Tennessee fans every week. And this will be the site of much of the action. Neyland Stadium, as we said, silent now, but the days are just being counted until it's filled with 50,000 fans each week to see the volunteers of Tennessee, whom you'll see each week on the Doug Dickey Show.